is governing under pressure to designate IPUB as a terrorist group. Greetings to you all. Hope we are doing great in our respective locations. To all my subscribers, yet to be subscribers, returning subscribers, let's take this to heart. Another person sources should trigger inspiration within you, not insecurity. Also remember, we are yet to be a light. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. There seems to be a coordinated media campaign to force the United States government to declare IPUB a terrorist group. Leading the charge is one even Sacha Sheehan, an academic in the public and international affairs department of the University of Baltimore. Sheehan has also taken a global newspaper to list major posers for the U.S. authorities on why IPOB should be designated as a terror group. Washington, a report by this day newspaper, indicates that there is mounting pressure on the United States government to designate the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB as a terrorist group. According to the report, an article in the Washington Times recently called on U.S. authorities to designate IPOB a terror organization following acts of violence and mindless killings linked to the secessionist group. This article noted that IPOB had curiously sued the U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin in a U.S. federal court. The piece written by the Executive Director of the School of Public and International Affairs at the University of Baltimore, even Sasha Sheehan, expressed displeasure that the violent secessionist group in question, IPOB, is yet to be designated a foreign terrorist organization FTO by the U.S. Department of State. This is despite repeated pleas to do so by long-standing U.S. ally Nigeria, where IPOB is based and carries out its murderous activities. It is difficult to explain how U.S. interests are saved by inaction and complacency on IPUB. The listing cost nothing, but the designation would have significant implication for the group's continuance. This publication noted that as soon as the designation was applied, no organization that utilizes U.S. currency would be able to legally conduct transactions with the organization. It said, by cutting off IPOB's funding, the U.S. would weaken the 50,000-strong paramilitary outfits and provide Nigeria security forces room to train their sites squarely as ISIS affiliated Boko Haram in the northeast of the country. Counter-terrorism operations against Boko Haram have long been assisted by U.S. agencies working in close coordination with the West African government. The report noted that more than 20 attacks were carried out in the first three months of this year alone, including the retribution-style bombing of a state governor's home, where four were killed and an attack on a prison that freed some 2,000 dangerous criminals. Daily Trust newspaper quoted Sheehan as saying, the establishment of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, by IPO signaled the end of the group's pretense of being a peaceful involvement. He accused IPO leader Nadi Kanu of supporting terrorism and issuing threats via Radio Biafra. Meanwhile, the Senate Minority Leader Abari Bay says there are more than 30 separatist organizations in the southeast zone of the country. Abari Bay made the 
comment on Tuesday, October 5th, in, a, in an interview held on Channel's television. He said the Buhari led administration might crush secessionist agitators, but it would be difficult for the government to crush the ideology behind their agitations until the current administration address the root, the root cause of the problem and embrace dialogue. Similarly, Southeast governors and leaders on Tuesday, October 5th, announced measures to end this rising violence and sit at home on Mondays in the region. The measures include the launch of the Ebubiago security outfit by the five states in the region before the end of the year. They also resolved to join forces with security agencies to restore peace to the region and encourage all stakeholders to intervene in the crisis. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button down below. I see you even as you do so. May the blessings of God Almighty never cease to overflow in your lives as you all support my channel. Amen. If IPOB is a terrorist group, then what is Fulani Hetzman? Okay, now because the headsmen are not killing policemen, but the police are helping them and protecting them. So killing of innocent civilians and ransacking them from, the, from their homes is not a crime. This is foolish talk. What white man has collected bribe from the Nigerian government? With this, APC government should also be declared a terrorist organization for sponsoring Boko Haram and calling them bandits and earthmen to deceive people. IPUB, as we all know, remains a freedom-fighting organization. Take it or leave it. Was Nelson Mandela a terrorist? Nadi Kanu is the Nelson Mandela of Nigeria. Let Buhari and his so-called uh, government first of all declare Boko Haram and Fulani headsmen terrorists before talking of IPUB. I would even like to know how much the Fulani government of APC paid to him. I am not worried at all because I know soon the storm will be over. Buhari should be bold enough to tell the US government to designate IPOB as terrorist group instead of hiding behind this idiot with little or no knowledge of the issue to pressure home their white goose shades. How can they force U.S. to designate IPOB a terrorist organization? You guys are just in a wide dream. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button for more authentic news. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.